Today we're going to be looking at our hot gas defrost board. This board will be found on our 14 and our 16 sear heat pump equipment. What we're going to be looking at is how do we clear the fault codes on this board. So let's get a call to the unit and take a look. With the heat pump now running in heat pump mode, what I'm going to simulate is the unit going off on high head pressure. So let's open the high pressure switch and see what happens. So what I did was, is I removed one of the wires going to the high pressure switch to simulate the unit going off on high head pressure. As you can see on our board here, we have an O2 fault code. Remember the O2 fault code on this board is gonna be the high pressure switch. So let's go ahead and re-engage the pressure switch and see what we got. With the unit still having a call from the thermostat, you'll have a O2 code along with an SC. That SC, remember, is just your short cycle timer. What a lot of guys do is they think that the high pressure switch is still open because you have an O2 code. That's not necessarily the case. So what you wanna do next is take a screwdriver or a jumper wire and jump the test pins out on the board to bypass your short cycle timer and see if the unit kicks back on. After jumping the two test pins and bypassing our short cycle timer, what we have is an H1 and an O2 code. The O2 code is now a stored fault code on the board. It doesn't necessarily mean that the high pressure switch is still open. You can confirm this by either taking an ohm reading on the pressure switch or a voltage reading on the terminals. Now let's clear the code. The first thing that you have to do is make sure that you do not have a call from the thermostat. The easiest way to do this is just to unwire nut your Y wire coming into the unit. So let's do that. So with the Y wire taken away, now what we can do is clear the board. What you wanna do is either take a screwdriver or a jumper wire and jump the two test pins for one second and this will clear your board. So now that we have the board cleared, the display goes back to an exclamation point. This is gonna be your standby mode, which basically means is that you're ready for a call. Another thing that you wanna confirm is whether or not you have 24 volts on your Y wire. So let's go ahead and rehook our thermostat wire back up and see what we have. Once we reconnected our Y wire, the board is gonna throw that SC code, which again, is just your short cycle timer. With the short cycle timer being active, you can either wait the five minutes for the delay or we can bypass it by jumping our test pins. So with jumping the test pins, we bypassed our short cycle timer. The unit is now back up and running in H1, which is heat pump stage one. So this is how we clear the codes on our hot gas defrost board. Thanks for watching. You can find more tips on EdgeTech, HVAC.com.